spikes. Today I see them all over. That Fargo teacher is out $15,000 after falling victim to a pop-up computer scam last week. The woman says she received an alert on her computer saying her personal information and money were compromised in a ransomware attack and she needed to act fast to fix it. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley spoke to the woman who takes us on her whirlwind experience as she says hopes her story helps to keep others wary and on their toes. <laughs> it's a $15,000 lesson that I'm paying forward. A private and public educator for more than four decades, Angie Olson doesn't consider herself naive and says while she stays up to date on the various scams and cons going around, what happened to her last Wednesday had never come across her radar before. Once I truly was scared that I was losing all this money, I just fell for everything. I didn't see red flags. Today I see them all over. She says she had just gotten home from school to find this pop-up message playing on her laptop. To unlock the computer. Please call us this number so we can fix this problem. So she called, talking to a man named Wilbur, who told Olson not only had loads of child porn been downloaded on her computer, her phone, bank, and identity were all compromised. He said, one thing I'll tell you right now is that you authorized a withdrawal of money out of your account last night at 4.30 in the morning. I said, I did what? $15,000 expected to be taken out of her account in two hours is what Olson says she was told. Wilbur then getting her bank Gate City on the line, which she says sounded just like it always does. At this point, I'm thinking this is real. A man named Dave claiming to be with Gate City's fraud department told Olson they were going to take care of her, saying they needed to create her a quote secure duplicate account to save her $15,000 from getting into the wrong hands. I don't know why. Today I think I, I was stupid, but at that point it was like, no, they're helping me. Olson says Dave told her she needed to physically go to Gate City, take out the 15K to then wire it to a new account. The scammers coaching Olson on the phone the entire time, including what she should tell employees at the bank to not raise any red flags. My mind was controlled and my choices were taken from me like I had to do this. Olson says she was then instructed to take that cash to a Bitcoin ATM to keep it safe from scammers. Dave and Wilbur promising the money would be rewired to her the next morning. That was more than half of my savings. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. Officials say scams similar to this have been hitting the Midwest recently, along with many other elder and phishing schemes. It's kind of an unfortunate situation. It's certainly something people need to be really on guard about. To protect yourself, Straub says there are three main things he suggests, including keeping your computer and antivirus software up to date, creating strong passwords, and he says to always be skeptical. If, if something seems too good or too bad to be true, you know, saying, okay, let me let me take a step away from this thing. Olson says, well, she wishes Straub's advice is what she would have done. It is what it is now, saying she just hopes her mistakes will save others from a $15,000 headache like hers. Today, I feel like I'm taking charge again of my life, and I'm not going to let this ruin me. Bailey Hurley, Gala News Live. Olson also says while the amount of money lost is unfortunate, it doesn't change her life plan. She is, isn't retiring from teaching yet this year. She says new accounts have already been opened to Gate City as the others are frozen indefinitely. Olson also says the incident has been reported and is being investigated by both the Fargo Police and the FBI. In sports, the Bison are talking quarterbacks. Beth is next.